सब्सक्राइब कीजिए धे आई चैनल को और बेल आइकन को दबाइए लेटेस्ट वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए The Punjab Energy Development Agency along with the Science and Technology Department is working on to create alternative uses of the stubble utilization. Punjab Energy Development Agency was formed in September 1991 as a state nodal agency for promotion and development of renewable energy programs or projects and energy conservation program in the state of Punjab. Stubble burning is troubling the Punjab government. A reset of priorities and out of the box thinking can lead to effective solutions for this issue. In today's edition of our DNS, we will discuss the steps taken by the Punjab Energy development agency in this issue what are the other fields where stubble is being used and lastly we will know the needs of the R. Punjab Energy Development Agency is working towards promotion and development of renewable energy for the past three decades it has set up 11 biomass power plants where 97.50 megawatts of power is generated in these plants 8.80 lakh metric tons of paddy stubble, which is less than 5% of the total 20 million tons paddy stubble generated in Punjab, is used annually to generate power. Most of these plants are 4 to 18 megawatts and are consuming 36,000 to 1 lakh 62,000 metric tons stubble annually. Two other biomass power projects with 14 megawatts capacity are under execution and will be commissioned from June 2021. These projects are environmental friendly as they emit relatively lower CO2 and particulate and displace fossil fuels such as coal. Apart from biomass projects, eight projects of bio CNG are under execution in the state. Most of these projects will be commissioned in 2021 and 2022. Also, these projects will require around 3 lakh metric tons of paddy stubble annually. There are also plans to set up India's largest CNG project. This will produce 8,000 metric cube biogas per day. The project is under execution at Lehra Gaga Tehsil in Sangru district. This single project will require 1.10 lakh metric tons of paddy straw per annum. A bioethanol project of 100 kiloliter, which will require 2 lakh metric tons of paddy stubble annually, is located located at Talwandi Sabu in Bhatinda. It is currently at a standstill as it has been held up by the HPCL due to technical issues with the Institute of Chemical Technology Mumbai. As per the experts, ethanol can be used to run vehicles after blending with diesel and petrol. Now moving further, let us know the benefits of these projects. After commissioning this project, Punjab will be able to utilize 1.5 million tons
plants paddy stubble farmers will also be benefited they can opt to sell paddy stubble to the industry instead of burning it there will also be environmental benefits like the fertile soil will be saved from burning every year organic matters present in the soil will be saved from burning pollution generated due to the burning of stubble will also be reduced job opportunities will be increased for the educated youth plus entrepreneurship opportunities can also be created like youth from science and technology background can start their own projects concerning this field and create employment opportunities now lastly let us know what is the need of the r punjab needs more number of stubble based industry where more and more stubble is required the current usage of stubble is very less compared to the generation of stubble the youth specifically engineers graduates in science and technology can be encouraged to start such projects under the startup concept which will create entrepreneurship among them plus the government must help them by getting sanctioned loans and providing a market for which there is plenty of scope joint efforts are required on the part of the state center and industries including public and private participation to convert all of punjab's stubble into farmers income also stubble based projects can be set up at the block level to manage stubble of the particular block